San Antonio. This is Rob for the Metalworks. We're hanging out here at Rob's Metalworks headquarters to bring you a band that I'm very excited, really, to bring back to the show after some time. But yes, brings me great, great pleasure to welcome Mr. Carlos Lopez and Gordon Ireland of the band Deadpool. How are you gentlemen doing this evening? Good. Very good. Thank you for having us. How you doing, Gordon? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. We're kicking ass and uh, taking names here. It's uh, it's great to have you back on the show. I know um, it's actually been long overdue, but uh, it's it's so funny um, how fast time seems to be going by for everybody. And um, first of all, I want you guys to know that I was a big, big fan of your latest CD, Idle Hands, that uh, came out uh, in 07. How do you feel about uh, where Deadpool is uh, today as we... Uh, sit here in 09 and if you can share a little bit about your words and about the progression of the band in the last two or three years um we like where we're at we'd like to uh you know start working on a new cd of course um 08 was uh, a very good year we have a lot of momentum built up and uh we just want to keep it rolling in 09 you know keep the takeover going and uh you know keep the people coming out to the shows you feel that uh you guys have gotten better on on any fronts with regards to the band, I mean, uh, what kind of, what kind of uh, do you feel has kind of uh, been the reason for for Deadpool's kind of rise uh, in status in the last few years? Promotion. promotion. Yeah, yeah, we're doing more promotion now than we've ever done. Uh, you know, which was probably a mistake on our parts when we were a lot younger. You know, ten years ago. But then again, at the same time, you know, the av we don't have, we didn't have the avenues back then that we do now, to be able to promote and get the word out, and you know, you know, with MySpace and you know, you know, and the like, you know. So, I think that has helped us a lot, uh, on top of us just busting our ass a little more, to to get the word out, you know. And like you said, you know, 2008 brought a lot of good things for us, and as a result of of the CD release. And, um, you know, hopefully we can continue doing it, you know, in 2009. Talk a little bit about uh, what you felt uh, Idle Hands delivered uh, to the fans that maybe the two previous releases had not really captured. Is there anything in particular that you felt kind of kind of really showed the strength of the band uh, uh, with uh, Idle Hands? Yeah, we, we took our time recording it and, and really tried to bring out the production value of it more. You know, we've always been a fairly tight band, you know, and... and uh, we kept a little bit of the rawness too that we had on our first CD. We didn't overplay the songs like we did on Spiritos, and we just really tried to get the cleanest recording. You know, basically take it to the next level, which you know every band hopes to do on their next release. So. Fan support uh, for the CD release party was kind of overwhelming, um, and I know at that time that uh, you guys were getting a little bit more involved and in kind of doing your own things on the back end. So it was like it was like uh, just a uh, very successful. Uh, release party oh it was fantastic uh, like you said we try to take the you know take the reins ourselves and, and kind of be in control of our own destiny so we basically rented the venue out and like Carlos was saying we promoted it much more than we normally would and we kind of use it as a foundation of what we did in the rest of 2008 you know uh, it was a successful venture for us so, and uh, we learned a lot from it and it was just a fantastic night I had a blast to any bands out there uh, listening or watching you know the media outlet out in town they're out there you know all you got to do is reach out to them they're not going to come to you all you have to do is reach out to them and be persistent you know and that persistence will it'll, you know it'll pay off uh, let, let's go ahead and move on now from idle hands and let's talk about uh, as we sit here at the beginning of 09 almost uh, into a quarter into 09 um what is the band doing right now um uh, talk a little bit about how far along you are uh, with writing. Do you just guys have some ideas or or do you already have some lyrics done? Do you have some riffs? You know, are you jamming new tunes? What's what's going on? Uh, we've been playing one new song out as of late. Um, what song is that? What's Does, it that? Does it have a name yet? It's Bleeding Me Dry, it's called. Bleeding Me Dry. Okay. Bleeding Me Dry, I'm sorry. I don't know the names of the songs. <laughs> uh, I just write the music. Uh, and... Uh, we're currently working on a second song along with various ideas riffs you know we don't want we don't want to take another you know four years to release you know the next CD so and that's what we're really gonna concentrate on now so you know 09 to be honest with you may not be as busy 
you know, or as successful you know, for us as 08 was. Um, last year, you guys getting voted the best heavy metal band in San Antonio. That was really huge um, because of, you know, San Antonio being uh, a heavy metal city with, with, with a lot of bands coming out, a lot of young bands, too. Uh, of, of guys who were in their early 20s and just starting out and really uh, kind of uh, joining uh, the music scene but you guys uh, as veterans can still uh, you know say proudly you know we're still heralded uh, in this town and, and people made their voice known about it so um, I, I was very taken back by that very happy for the band um, how did you guys feel about that were you surprised about uh, the voting thing surprised yeah we, we didn't even know we were in the running, so uh, yeah, it was a complete shock and an honor. And uh, you know, for anybody that did vote for us, we thank you very much. Uh, it just, it, to me, it shows you know maybe uh, our longevity, maybe you know why our name was out there so long. You know, same four guys, ten years. Maybe it was just a little bit of respect for that. But there are so many great bands in this town, young, up and coming bands, and, and bands that have been around you know as long as us, maybe in one form or another. So to get that honor, it was a complete shock, but. A nice uh, I want to say thank you to you and, and the Deadpool crew and, and Marty for uh, really hosting an outstanding event with Mistress Julia. Um, so let's talk a, a little bit about uh, uh, Mistress Julia and her visit to San Antonio. I think she gave us all what, what we were looking for. She, she really came out and hosted an event and then also uh, greatly participated in the post festivities. Uh, so uh, the, the people out there tonight are going to meet her later on. Uh, what were your feelings on Mistress Julia and, and her slave to the metal tour here in, in San Antonio that you were a part of? Uh, it was part of the Halo endorsement. Uh, she uh, endorses Halo guitars also, and uh, so that's how it basically came about. Uh, Carlos and them kind of worked together with Halo and put the show together. Uh, it was a great honor for me too because you know she's hot <laughs> <laughs> no she was fantastic she was she was very personable and and um, and i think she did a great job and she was fun to hang out with afterwards so um you know I, carlos would know more about the details of how it came together but yeah the whole mistress julia thing came about when halo gave me a call and said hey uh we're starting to do some we're, we're starting to do some work with mistress julia um would you like for her to come down and host one of your shows? And uh, so I was like, well, sure, sure. And then they gave me two weeks to put it together. As a matter of fact, uh, she emailed me last week and she wanted, she told me in the email that she wanted me to say that Texas has the best metal, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's what she said, in the country. Uh, not only because of the, the talent, but because of the hospitality let's go ahead and end out guys any last words uh, that you want to share with uh, the people out there in San Antonio anything that I miss anything that you want to talk about before we close out well personally I just want to thank you Rob for all the years of support it has mean a lot to us uh, you've always been there since day one almost the same amount of time that you came out we did and uh, you know thanks for having us on the show again I want to you know thank all the support that we've received over the last year and a half you know I we can't you know say enough you know and I'm speaking you know, for Chris and Mike, you know, who can't be here with us tonight, uh, you know, we'll never be able to, you know, uh, say enough to everybody out there for all the support that you've given us. And we hope that you'll continue to be with us, come out to the shows, you know, support, you know, Deadpool, support all the bands that play with Deadpool, you know and uh you know keep metal alive in this town you know and i think between deadpool and, and rob's metalworks i think we're going to do that until who knows when so. <laughs> hopefully forever brother thank you very much for coming thank you gordon for everything remember san antonio the latest from deadpool is called idle hands if you don't yet have it in your collection all you got to do is go to deadpoolsociety.com drop someone a line and get it in your hands you can also learn more about the band at myspace forward slash forward slash Deadpool Society as well. You saw Carlos and Gordon of the band only right here on Rob's Metalworks.